Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Andrew Perez. And I'm Alex Finney. Here's a look at your top stories today. A Golden Beach sergeant was shot twice in the arm in Hollywood. This happened on Hollandale Beach Boulevard and South Ocean Drive. Officers say it all started with a chase involving a stolen vehicle after the driver lost control of the car, bailed out and started running. Officers chased after that suspect, and that's when they say Sergeant Joseph Bautista was shot. He was taken to Hollywood Memorial Hospital and is headed into surgery. We're told two people are in police custody. Also new this morning, sources confirming a migrant landing happened near Crandon Park. This is the scene right along Crandon Beach Boulevard. You can see several Miami-Dade police officers there alongside U.S. Border Protections agents. We're working to learn how many people were part of this migrant landing and if anybody's in custody. South Florida is seeing a new strain of COVID mostly affecting children. Infectious disease experts warned that the newest variant of COVID-19 XBB.1.16 is spreading and has a new symptom, pink eye. Doctors say if you are seeing your child and possibly have some symptoms, it be a fever, upper respiratory infection, do not send them to school. Meanwhile, President Biden has approved federal disaster declaration for Florida after the record rainfall and flooding that swamped cities across Broward. Many in Fort Lauderdale left with thousands of dollars in damages, struggling to pick up the pieces. Edgewood was one of the hardest hit areas and residents tell us they're grateful for the federal help. For those seeking assistance from FEMA, you can apply online. There's a link on our website, local10.com. And of course, as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Let's head to our website, local10.com for more.